The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Nexus RX 1.1K 1100 watt gold power supply. The box itself has your typical Nexus colors. There's plenty of features and specifications as well as pictures of the product on the box. There's a security seal at the top so you know it has never been opened before and there's a very convenient pop-up handle. Inside there's quality styrofoam and this is on the top as well as at the bottom so the power supply is not going to move around. They include a power cord, the power supply, and a pouch. I'll open this up now and we'll see what's inside. This is actually a quality pouch. It has a handle and inside of it there are the modular leads as well as a bag which has some cable ties and four screws for mounting the power supply in the case. The Nexus RX line of power supplies are currently available in wattages ranging from 530 all the way up to 1100 so there are plenty of power supplies to choose from in this lineup but I'll be reviewing the 1100 watt gold model. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand this you need to know what rails are and rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and 12 volt rail now in this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 200 watts and the 12 volt is 996 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU video cards etc. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail while the plus 3.3 volt rail is 24 amps the plus 5 volt rail is 30 amps and there's one single plus 12 volt rail and it is 83 amps and the fact that this only has one plus 12 volt rail is impressive for a power supply with this much wattage. There are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Now generally speaking a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system select the power supply that's around 800 watts. If however you are building an extreme gaming rig with top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware select a power supply that is 1000 watts or greater. Second it should be at or above 80% efficiency at typical low. The typical efficiency of this power supply is 90.8% and has an average efficiency of 89.2%. Now remember high efficiency means lesser waste and thus less heat and a lower electricity bill. Third it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC or active power factor correction assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, ED+, NVIDIA SLI, and AMD Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications and this power supply is NVIDIA SLI certified and meets the 80 plus gold certification. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors because this ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. Thankfully, this power supply uses Japanese capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it will reduce the cable mess inside of the case. Also, 
get a power supply with an excellent warranty. And this power supply comes with a three year warranty. Now let's have a closer look at this power supply. It comes in a gloss black paint finish and this is rather rare because a lot of power supplies these days come in solid black. The housing is steel and they include a quiet ball bearing 135 millimeter fan and the hotter the inside of the power supply gets the faster the fan spins. So this fan and the many ventilation holes ensures that the power supply remains cool in almost any environment and note the power cable connection and the power switch. Considering the fact that this is an 1100 watt power supply, it is pretty compact and you can fit it in just about any case that accepts standard ATX power supplies. And note that the fan grill at the top is recessed. So if you need to slide this power supply in a case which accepts standard ATX, power supplies then you should have no problem doing so this power supply has lots of leads some of them are hardwired into the power supply like the motherboard leads as well as some of the PCI Express leads but the remainder are modular leads these are the video card modular connectors and these are the peripheral floppy drive and serial ATA connectors with an 1100 watt power supply if you didn't have some modular connectors you would have a mass a total mess of cables inside of the case ones you did not need that's the fantastic thing about a modular design like this because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup and thus you're going to increase airflow inside of the case also it will look much much better inside of the case and not as messy now note that these leads have this x mesh sleeving and they are very tightly braided. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan. Not everyone needs an 1100 watt power supply, but if you do, well, I'll keep this power supply at the very top of your list because it is 80 plus gold certified. That's important. I wouldn't recommend getting any power supply today unless it is a brand name power supply like this one, which is and has the 80 plus gold certification. Remember as well that this one is NVIDIA SLI certified plus it has a modular design and comes with an ultra quiet 135 millimeter fan. If you are looking for power supplies in this range, you cannot go wrong with this power supply. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.